One of the people that I really want to expose is Ron Asanya. And many of you don't know who Ron Asanya is. You know, he's not one of these doom and gloom guys. He's actually one of these people Okay, one of the people that I really want to cover and expose is Ron Asanya. And if you don't know who he is, he's one of these contributors to CNBC. And he's been really in the network, I believe, since around the mid-2000s, 2006. And then he got into hedge funds, according to my research. And he simply didn't do a pretty good job in the whole... Uh, role either because he didn't know how or he kind of is a con man. I don't know exactly what's going on. But in this article, he is stating that we're going to have some kind of 10 to 20% uh, correction. See, the article mentions that there's a 10 to 20% correction when you look and you click on the link. But it doesn't say this on the side. So, yeah, it says here 10, 20%. They're long overdue for a correction. Well, look, Mr. Insania, first of all, when you were getting into the hedge funds and everything, were you telling people that there was going to be a severe crash in the markets from 2007 to 2009? It doesn't look like it. It certainly does not look like you were actually warning people about this. So your poor performance over your forecasting along with your hedge funds, it makes it very difficult for me to actually believe that 10 to 20% is going to happen. In fact, it looks like to me this is probably a signal making me think that right now is a very good chance that there's a very good buying opportunity. And one of the things is that it's going to rocket even higher. Because it simply is a fact. You didn't predict a lot of market moves that were accurate, and it's very difficult for me to find you very reliable. I mean, this whole network is full of people that just don't get it or just a bunch of clowns. I mean, look at this. Look how they're promoting. Market pullback is coming. They, they, there's another article. 30% fall. I mean, it's just all over the place. They want to scare people out of the market. And while people continue to miss out on a lot of these games, again, people, you have to know how the media is operating. You have to know how the media tries to manipulate people into pursuing and influencing certain decisions financially. If you understand these things, you can really wake up and think outside the box and succeed much better than what these so-called pundits are really trying to tell you. So anyway, he points out, you know, high-frequency trading and all that, and that's going to stress out the market. Okay, well, that doesn't look like that's going to stress out the market by 10 to 20%. Okay, maybe 2 3%, but not 10 20%. And of course, you know, certainly there is a possibility of a 10% correction sometime in 2014. I don't really see 20% though. So you have to keep that in mind. And when you look at how the NASDAQ really recovered a lot of its losses recently and a lot of the losses we saw in January of this year, this is a very bullish sentiment. And not just for NASDAQ, but for S&P and Dow Jones. In fact, today we were very close at hitting all-time highs for the Dow Jones. And recently, we hit all-time highs with the S&P 500. So this is, these are very bullish factors. Did this guy ever tell you that? Does he ever tell you the reasons why he might be possibly wrong? I'll tell you the reasons why I might be possibly wrong. Certainly, I see the fact that I'm very bullish. But why I might be wrong? Well, maybe the China situation won't be as severe. But, of course, China isn't necessarily going to completely tank the stock market. And if you don't believe me... You can go back to the 97, 98 Asian financial crisis. 
Both years were bullish years for the U.S. stock market, but nevertheless, we saw some significant pullbacks, and they were buying opportunities, because if you bought those opportunities, you would have made huge gains in 1998, later in that year, and especially into 1999, which shortly after it was a great time to sell. And of course, these media networks like CNBC most likely had a lot of pundits out there that were a bunch of permabulls and telling you that it was still a good time to buy or hold some position. Of course, we saw what happened from 2000 to 2002. But anyway, I want to just tell you guys, you can see the manipulation. You can see all this is happening. They're over-exaggerating the situation. And yes, there is a chance that he might be right. But just because he's right, he's not going to be right every single time. But looking at his track record, there's a very high probability, along with these charts that I'm seeing in the markets. So you'll see here, this is pretty much the NASDAQ, as you can see here. We're easily recovering. We recover faster than we pull down. So these are very, very bullish factors when you come into play. So really... Don't take these people so seriously. Come on, people. <laughs> yeah, follow this guy. He has a website. This guy also has another a lot of ads that are kind of similar to like Robert Kiyosaki. If you know, you can probably Google it and you'll see. Follow me. You can get rich. You'll succeed. A lot of ad-based content, believe it or not. It's just re not even reliable or just full of trash. 